Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, inshallah. Now we will continue our study of Surah Al-Mulk. Uh, we'll go on to the next page of um, ayah number 13 all the way to 30, inshallah. So let's start. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. رَبِّ شَحْ لِي صَدْرِي وَيَصِلْ لِي عَمْرِي وَأَمْرِي وَحْلُ الْعُقُدَةً مِنْ لِسَانِ يَفْقَوْ قَوْلِي رَبَّنَا زِدْنَا عِلْمَا Okay, so just like what I did in the previous video, I will go through some patterns. Because just like in the previous page, there were lots of words um, that were doubled. It's the same thing here. Um, so let's find them. This one, this one is amintum, but this one is am amintum. But this one, say like this part, amintum ma fissama, amintum ma fissama, right? And then here, al arda, and then al arda, 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 and then here, um. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman. This one, but it's Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman. But uh, yeah, Ar Rahman. Amman hadha alladhi, Amman hadha alladhi. Right, and then this one, Yamshi, blank, Ala. This one, Yamshi. This one, Ala, Ala. Right, and then Innama, Innama, and here. Qul ara'aytum, ara'aytum, qul ara'aytum. Okay, so now let's go to the meaning, right? Again, this is not a tafsir video. There are lots more lectures um uh, books I'm that qualified to do that. All my my goal here is just to remember uh, what's the next ayah and also just give some patterns to inshallah aid in memorizing the surah. Okay, so that's why we're gonna do some meaning as well. I will do that later. Okay, so here wa. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأخسروا and you all conceal you all hide right قولكم your speech أو or جهروا um you all proclaim به it uh, it إنه indeed he عليم uh, um all knower Bidat Sudur. It says here breast but chest. Well what is in your breast chest? Okay. So if we want to try to connect this one to this one, remember one of the um the um translations or oh, one of the um, explanations for this um ayah is the um, the uh, Muslims in Mecca at that time who didn't want to expose themselves because they were worried that they would be harmed. So, if we take that meaning, we can connect it to this one. So, even if you hide your speech or you proclaim it, so even if you hide your um, la ilaha illallah or your, your being a Muslim or you proclaim it, indeed Allah, so Allah, indeed He, alimun, as all know, bizati sudur, which what what's in your chest, right? Or even for the disbelievers, it doesn't matter if you say it or not. Allah knows what's in their chests, right? What in what's in their chest? That means whatever is in their heart, whatever they really feel, whatever they really think, right? That's what it's saying. Not really what's in your chest. Um, it's a metaphor, uh, a figure of speech. So um, that one, and then we'll connect it to this one. Ali one. Ya'lamu. So Allah knows what's in your chests, and um, and the reason why He knows that, Allah ya'lamu man khalaqa, because He created you, right? So does not He know 
who he created wa and he latif al khabir the subtle and khabir see uh, he subtle um um, you can just read the tafsir for this because it might uh, take long explaining it. But khabir is something that we can use for our next uh, ayat. So Allah is alimun, so alimun, so ya'lamun, because he created us, right? So al-khabir huwa alladhi ja'ala lakum al-arda He is all aware because, again, he is the one who made the earth. Uh, everything here and feeding us uh, so we can connect it here too so الذي, he الذي, the one who لكم, he made for you all I know it says made I'm just giving the exact uh, translation he made for you all الأرض, the earth ذلولان. it says here subservient um, it's more like a tamed um, just imagine like a wild animal tamed Zalula. Um, so Fam Shu so walk fi in Manakibiha its path. Wakulu and you all eat Mirrizki with uh, from his provision. Wa nushur and to him um, the resurrection. Okay? So again, alimun. So next one is ya'lamu. He's aware because he also created not just us but also the earth. He made it dalula. You know, just think about this. Oh, we will see it actually in the next um, ayah, because Allah is saying that He made it dalula. He made it tamed, right? So we can, you know, freely walk around. Um, travel and also eat from it, right? But in the end, we're gonna go back to Allah. Uh, a resurrection uh, is we're gonna go be be resurrected and um, go back to Allah, right? So now that Allah has said all of these, and He has, you know, even here at the, at the beginning, right? Knowing all this, that he is the Barakallah, he is uh, biyadil, biyadil mulk, he, his, his, in his hands are his dominion. How can you now say that you are safe from his you know, punishment if you do something wrong? So this is the next one. Do you feel secure? Amin, do you feel secure? Man who fis, fis sama in the heaven he will cause as well become uh, with you all al the earth faida wow then when it tamur sways or shakes um, so we can connect this with dalul dalul as I said um, like it tamed it you know because if you think about it like uh, we have like tornadoes we have um, volcanoes, we have um, the, um, so actually I'm going to show you the next one, sinkhole. These are all, just think of it, the earth like is like a, a lot tamed it so we can actually travel and go around, right? But um, he can also make it not tame and cause it to swallow us. So the, that's the first one. And also we can connect it by this word. Al-Ard. There's also Al-Ard here. Al-Ard. Al-Ard, Al-Ard. So I will show you a picture. Just in, co- in, just in case you don't know. Um, just we, so we can imagine what this means. He will cause to swallow the earth while it's waste. This is a sinkhole. Sinkhole. I don't want to play the whole video. But look. If you can see that. So. See. How did it happen? Um, here. Look. The earth is just opening from beneath and swallowing them, it looks like, right? So that's kind of what is uh, the picture that's being, um, uh, that Allah wants us to picture here. Uh, So do you feel secure? Who in the heavens, um, not, uh, if he causes you, uh, you to be swallowed by the earth, right? 
And then, as I said, there are two of them, amintum. This one is amintum, this one is am, or amintum, do you feel secure? Man who fissama is in the heavens, in the heaven. Ay, that yursila alaykum hasiba. He will send upon you all a hasiba, a storm of stones. Fasata'lamuna, so then you will know. Uh, you would know kaifa, uh, how. Nazir, my warning. So how do we connect this to the next one? Again, this is our main goal, just to connect, keep connecting them, keep connecting them. Um, if you know the story of Lut, um, his people were destroyed by Hasiba, actually, um, storm of st one of them, uh, storm of stones, right? Because um, the next line, uh, the next ayah is, وَلَقَدَ كَذَّبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ so before them, the Prophet Lut was before Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? So before them, فَكَيْفَ كَانَ نَكِيرَ And how it was my rejection. So, وَلَكَدْ And indeed, he, he, they denied, actually they denied uh, the people from before them. So, فَكَيْفَ كَانَ نَكِيرَ So that's how we can connect it. So if you think about this, this is Prophet Lut. Just, just imagine this is what it's the picture that's being told. Uh, or actually, that's what you were reminded of, right? So actually, and the, so they're being told, And then what happened to them? Well, one of them, they had hasiba, right? They were destroyed. And then another one. So how do we connect it to this one again? So this is hasiba. And who else uh, who was destroyed before them? This one, it says here, Awalam, so um, do then not. Well, I, I don't know why it says do not. Yarao, they see, because this is supposed to be a question, not do not. Do they not see? Ila tayri, to the birds. Fawqahum, above them. Fawfat, um, spreading their wings. Wayaqabidm and folding. If you know the uh, story about the uh, people of ele elephant, um, they were destroyed by birds who brought who threw stones on them, right? So again, it's So this one, Hasiba. And this one, if we just think about it, the birds, فوقهم, above them. Who brought, well, it doesn't say he brought the stones, but um, just to think about the picture, because again, our goal is to connect it. Okay. مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ not he holds them إِلَّا الرَّحْمَنِ uh, Except الرَّحْمَنِ It says, keep saying most gracious, but uh, merciful. إِنَّهُ indeed he Bikulli with uh, every shay in and it's everything basir all seer all seeing. Um, in case you don't know what this is talking about, like um, actually it's because it says here spread wings, at or also they're lining up here like uh, this picture. See here they're spreading their wings right. And they're lining up. And then yaqabil is when it's folding. Yaqabil. Okay. So. Fasata'alamuna. This is, oh no, we're already here. Innahu bikulli shay'in basir. Okay, so. How do we connect it to this one? You know. Um, one of the things I was trying to make a clue for myself, because if you have been reading Quran for a while, studying Quran, this could be um, different things. Bikulli uh, shay'in qadir, bikulli shay'in different things. But here it says basir. I just tried to think about it, like because uh, this is Allah talking about Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's um, mulk, His dominion. 
it's like his kingdom. So there, he sees everything. So if he sees everything, let's just think of like, um, like let's say in a building or in a school, in a mall, whatever, surveillance cameras. That's why it's like basir, and they see. Um, I'm just trying to connect it. There's not something about tafsir. And also, basir, so I said surveillance. Surveillance, who else does this surveillance things? It's an army, group of army. So that's how I connect, connected it. So, basir, think about surveillance, army. Okay. So the next one. Man, um, so who is Hadaladi? This the one who he jundul um, an army lakum for you, yang surukum uh, help you all from Duni Rahman. Inil kafiruna in the uh, not al kafiruna the disbelievers illa except but uh, in delusion because here you know because um. Quraysh thought that they're like also powerful because they also have an army, right? But what is their army compared to Allah? You know, that's why I'm saying, who is this who will help you from a Rahman? It's, 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 it's even like saying Jundul, Jundun, like this tiny army, you know? Um, they don't understand what they're talking about. That's why it's saying, what do you think you can go against me uh, right but subhanallah Allah is ar-Rahman he's being reminded they're being reminded to be, he's being merciful he's, he's not destroying them he's not destroying them despite what their disbelief and uh, going against Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, going against uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right and also here the same one again because remember I said it's twice Amman hadhaladhi Here again Amman hadhaladhi So who is this The one who Yarzukukum He provides you all In if amsaka He will help uh, Rizqa His provision Balladju hmm, It's not giving the meaning Oh nay No one says nay But um, But okay nay Ladju They persist um, fi in rotu in uh, pride wa and aversion. So Allah is saying, so who is who else will give you provision? Provision like food, water, whatever, um, livelihood, anything, and anything that will keep you alive, basically. Um, rizq, who will keep you, sustain you, and make you survive, if not for Him. You know, um, that's why it's saying here, Ar Rahman. So he's Ar Rahman. Imagine this all the people who don't believe in Allah, they're still alive. They're being given risk. They're being, they can be successful in this dunya. They can enjoy, subhanAllah, because Allah is Ar Rahman. You know, He's not gonna punish them right away. Um, and uh, at least for that, yeah. So, and also this one, Am Sakao, he withheld. If you can see this letter M, Mim, Sin, Kaf, here, Mim, Sin, Kaf. Um, it's kind of a reminder that, you know, those birds that are being held up by Allah, it's like sustaining them up, right? He's sustaining them up, just like we are being sustained by Allah to live. You know, but here it says amsaka rizqa. So we are being sustained by Allah. We are being um, kept alive, right? And what's the reaction of most people? Balladju fi atuwin watuwi wa nufur. They have their pride, their ego. No, I don't care. I don't care um, for whatever Allah is giving to me. You know, they don't care. They are not grateful. In a version. Um, Kind of like, um, I guess you know what aversion is. Like, uh, turned away, right? They're averse to it. And speaking of this, uh, this is how we will connect us to the next one. Because um, <clears throat> this one, nufur, so aversion, kind of, let's just think about something like you're looking away. 
you're looking away because this person who keeps walking and then falling. <laughs> it's like you're embarrassed. You don't want to keep looking. Again, this is not something that has something to do with the meaning. I'm just trying to connect it. Okay. But here Allah is asking, Afaman, then who, uh, the one who is, yam, she walk, he walks, fallen. What does that mean? I will explain it. Ala wajihi, upon his face. Uh, that is better guided. Amman, then who, um, yam, she walks upright. Ala, uh, upon sirat al mustaqim. Siratim mustaqim. The straight path. So this mukibban kind of gives you the picture of someone who keeps falling. Because he's, it says here fallen. Let's say someone who's in the dark. Someone is in the dark and keeps tripping and falling. Tripping and falling, tripping and falling. Falling on his face. See, because it says here face. So Allah is asking. So imagine this person is in the dark. And this one, or this one is, keeps falling and just really um, messed up path, you know, keeps falling. Is this better than this? Of course not. So this is someone who has guidance. This is the one who yamshi sawi, uh, and this is someone who has guidance. See, Surat al Mustaqim. It just reminds you the Al Fatiha, right? Dina Surat al Mustaqim. So the one who's guided, the one who has Islam, is that. Is this better than that? No, right? So that's what Allah is uh, asking here. And then, remember I was saying, um, I think I didn't point it out, but here I will say it. Um, the endings of the last letter of the word for every ayat is raw, raw. You see that? Raw, 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 raw. Oh, sorry. Raw. Raw. And then, meme. Hmm. So from ayah number one all the way to ayah number 21, it's raw. And then it changes to meme. And remember, I said this is important because this will give us a clue of what's the next ayah. Meme, just think about it. Um, Prophet Muhammad Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meme because this one now Allah will talk to Prophet Muhammad قُلْ قُلْ tell, uh, telling Prophet Muhammad say this, say this, right? and also صِرَاطٍ mustaqim, one who is guided a straight path so now we'll go to Prophet Muhammad talking uh, being told to say being told to say so okay Qul say huwa he who is the um, the one this one now who is um um rahman right Qul huwa alladhi he is the one who ansha'akum uh he produced you all waj'ala lakum waj'ala lakum as and he made for you all your the hearing and the sights Allah well, sets your vision al abasara wal afida it says here, afida, feelings, but it's actually your heart, but like a passionate heart. That's why it says feelings, because some translation will say heart. Because qalb is heart, just like regular heart. But this is afida, so passionate, feeling heart. Qalilan, a little, ma, what, tashkurun. Actually, this one is not supposed to be ma, it's like very little. It's supposed to be very little, tashkurun. Um, so, who is the one who is um, actually produced us? It um, it says produced, but uh, allowed us to grow, and uh, he made for us our hearing and our sights and our heart. Are you thankful for that? Subhanallah. This is it Allah is uh, just showing us just the fact that you can you have hearing sights and you can feel. It's something to be thankful for. But uh, subhanAllah, do we thank Allah for that every day? Um, subhanAllah. So we should be thankful for that. And um, so another one, question again. Qul huwa alladhi. See, uh, I think I didn't point this out. So this qul huwa alladhi, one. And then another one. Qul huwa alladhi. Zara'akum. 
he multiplied you. Another translation is he lets you spread, um, spread you all fill out in the earth. It's talking about this is being directed to Quraysh. The people didn't believe, right? That's why it's saying Tuhsharun. It says you will be gathered, but Hashar is more of used for animals because so it's showing that they don't want to be gathered they don't want to come back so tuhsharun because tajma'un could also be gathered but this is tuhsharun because um yeah because they don't want to come back because they didn't even believe in the first place now the day of gathering now, what will the people who don't believe say? And they will say, Mata when hada this al wa'adu the promise in kuntum sadiqin if you're truthful. And so they're gonna this you probably will even hear this um, throughout your lifetime. Really, when is this gonna come? That this promised day of we're gonna go back to your God. That's how people will talk subhanAllah. Um <clears throat> so Allah uh, Allah told Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is his answer. Innamai only, in, indeed not but uh, the knowledge, uh, in, in the law is with Allah. Wa innama, indeed, um, only I, I am nadirun, nadirun mubin, a uh, warner, it's clear. So only Allah knows when this day of gathering will happen. We know it's going to happen. But when is it? This is our appropriate answer. We cannot guess. We cannot say it's, uh, yeah, I think it's in a couple of years. No, no one knows except Allah. And uh, Prophet Muhammad is being told here that he is just a warner, a uh, clear warner. Okay? Okay. So, inshallah, let's try it out. Um, so, from the previous ayah, it had the word ghaib, right? Bil ghaib. So the unseen, with the unseen, unseen something that's that's just connected to this word, something about secret, right? Whether you keep it a secret or you reveal it, right? Your word it says. So, let's try it out. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir-rajim. وَأَسِرُّوا قَوْلَكُمْ أَوْ اجْهَرُوا بِهِ إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ And then, let's connect it by this one. Because we're just looking for words that will give us a clue to go right away to the next one, right? عَلِيمٌ عَلَى يَعْلَمُ <coughs> أَلَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ خَلَقَ وَهُوَ اللَّطِيفُ الْخَبِيرُ Khabir, the all aware, right? Aware because he made the earth. So he knows what's going on. He's very aware. هُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ ذَلُولًا فَامْشُوا فِي مَنَاكِ بِهَا وَكُلُوا مِنْ رِزْقِهِ وَإِلَيْهِ النُّشُورِ So, what did we say about the next one? So now that we know all of the... This is, we are in Allah's dominion and His mulk. How can we disbelieve? How can you feel safe that he can, you know, just punish you anytime, you know? So that's this was uh, towards the disbelievers, right? Okay. Amin tumman fis samai yakhsifa bikumul arda fa idha hiya tamur. And then, remember, it's the same sounding at the beginning. Because this one is A, uh, and then the next one is Am Amintum. Am Amintum man fis samai an yursil alaykum haasiba fasata'alamuna kayfa nadheer. And then 
the one, the next one. Remember Hasiba, something about Prophet Lut, uh, the punishment, which was before Prophet Muhammad. So min qablihim, remember? Okay. وَلَقَدْ وَلَقَدْ كَذَّبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَكَيْفَ كَانَ نَكِيرٌ This one, you might get this mixed up. Because فَسَتَعَلَمُونَ كَيْفَ نَذِيرٌ This one, فَكَيْفَ كَانَ نَكِيرٌ See, this one doesn't have كَانَ This one has كَانَ And also remember, how do you, if you want, if you can't keep mixing them up, Zal comes before kaf, even in the alphabet, right? Yeah, if you, if you think about it, this letter, let's say D in the English alphabet, D will come before K, if you don't know the order of um, um, Arabic alphabet. So, Nazir, Nakir. And then, who else um, was something about before Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu who also had punishment? If they look at this, they will be reminded of that punishment, right? Do you remember now? Okay. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَى الطَّيْرِ فَوْقَهُمْ صَافَّاتٍ وَيَقَبِضٍ مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ إِلَّا الرَّحْمَنِ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٌ Okay, so this one, remember Basir, and then we like think about like surveillance, and then who else does surveillance? The Jundul, Jundul, um, the army. Again, we're just trying to connect it so we can easily retrieve it, the next one, right? <clears throat> okay. أم أم من هذا الذي هو جند لكم ينصركم من دون الرحمن إن الكافرون إلا في غرور. Okay, and then the next one again double double again right. Next one is أَمَّنْ هَذَا الَّذِي يَرْزُقُكُمْ إِنْ نَمْسَكَ رِزْقَهُ بَلْ لَجُّوا فِي عُتُوٍ وَنُفُورٍ And then the next one, Nufur is aversion, aversion, like it, something you don't, let's just uh, imagine, remember that you don't want to see it, you don't, you don't, it's like you don't want to, it's aversion, <laughs> aversion. So this one, the pi a picture of someone who keeps falling, right? Okay. أَفَمَنْ يَمْشِي مُكِبًا عَلَى وَجِهِهِ أَهْدَاءً مَنْ يَمْشِي سَوِيًّا أَمَّنْ يَمْشِي سَوِيًّا عَلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Okay, remember all of the, all from ayah number one all the way to ayah number 21. They all ended with the raw. And then we come to ayah number 22. It's with meme. Meme. It was just reminded that it's Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, meme. So, now it will be Allah directly um, um, saying qul to Prophet Muhammad, right? Qul. <clears throat> okay. Qul huwa alladhi ansha'akum wa ja'ala lakum al-sam'a wal-abasara wal-af'idah. Okay, and then another قُلْ This is جَعَلَ الْأَنْشَأَكُمْ Like he produced you, made you grow, and then the other one is you will multiply and spread, right? Okay. قُلْ هُوَ الَّذِي ذَ 
قل هو الذي ذرأكم في الأرض وإليه تحشرون and then تحشرون you will all be gathered and then the people will say those who disbelieve when is this promise of yours that is it if you really are truthful right ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين. Okay, and then what is our response if someone asks us this? And also something about Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم here. قل إنما العلم عند الله وإنما أنا نذير مبين. There. Alhamdulillah, we finished this one. So, inshallah, just a few more ayat. Um, inshallah, that you found this helpful. And uh, inshallah, see you in the next video. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. Inshallah, we'll be able to recite this every night and learn from all the lessons that we have learned so far. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.